Welcome to the Sun Shield Stain Kit tutorial. Along with the contents that are included in your kit, we recommend the use of these additional supplies. After removing your door from opening and laying it on a flat surface, begin by taping the glass. Tape off inside edge of glass with blue painter's tape. Tape both long sides first, start at one corner of the glass opening and overlap one inch of tape onto slab. Then unroll tape and apply tightly to the glass opening. Proceed to other corner and overlap at this end also. Repeat process for other long side. For short sides, start tape in middle of long side tape and apply to glass edge stopping at the middle of the next corner. Trim the long sides with a sharp razor knife. Step two. Prepping light frames. Prep the light frames according to the type of frame listed on the sticker attached to the glass. Some have a QR code to identify the glass and frame type. For Fiber Pro, Fiber Mate, Fiber Mate Plus, Fiber Pro Oak, Evolve, Trisis, Craftsman, and Zeal, clean with mineral spirits and Scotch Bright pad. Follow paint or stain instruction. For HP White, HP White Evolve, and HP White Craftsman. Paint frame with adhesion promoter provided. Use in well ventilated area. Allow two hours to dry before stain or painting. Severe weather aluminum frames. Scuff both frame and screw covers with 3M pad. Clean with mineral spirits and scotch bright pad. Paint screw covers with adhesion promoter. For PVC frames, Wipe PVC frames and SDL bars with a 3M pad with mineral spirits and allow to fully dry before finishing. Step 3. Prepping an unfinished door for paint or stain. Lightly wipe the surface with a clean, fine grit 3M pad dampened with mineral spirits. This will remove any oils or residual dirt. Wipe clean with paper towels and allow the door to dry completely. Working temperatures should be 55 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not work in direct sunlight or high humidity. Next, we will be inserting support screws into the top and bottom of the door so that the door can be flipped without needing to wait for the paint to dry. Note, if you are working with a heavier door, such as a door with hurricane glass, we recommend to skip this step as the screws will not be able to support the weight of the door. Begin by using a ruler and a pencil to create a mark four inches from the center of the door to both the left and right. Next, create a mark that is 15 inches from the center of the door to both the left and right as well. Use your drill to create holes that are approximately two inches deep where you have marked. And then screw six to four inch screws provided into these holes. Repeat these steps on the opposite side of the door. Move the saw horses so the door slab is supported by the wood screws. Position the door slab toward one side of saw horse to allow the door to be flipped to stand opposite side of the door slab. Next. Apply base coat to door. Stir the base coat and grain coat well before using. Brush the base coat on the door jam, slab faces, sides, and top edges with a two inch brush in the direction of the grain. Apply the second coat in the same manner. Allow to dry four hours minimum. Failure to allow base coat to dry completely will cause excessive interaction with the grain coat. A small fan on low speed will help ensure drying. After allowing base coat to dry, we will next prep the door for grain coat. Using a clean cotton cloth, apply a light and even coat of the wetting agent to one side of the door and sides. This extends the graining solution, allowing additional time for the graining process. 
Put this cloth aside to use with wetting agent for the opposite side. Next, apply the grain coat. The grain coat is applied next. Apply using the graining pad. Work the grain coat into the door grain starting with any embossed panels and light frames. Next, do the horizontal panels, running side to side, and then vertical panels, running top to bottom, and then finish edges. A Q-tip or a dry brush will help smooth out detail areas. Use the dry bristle brush to even the stain when the desired color is reached. The more grain coat removed, the lighter the stain color. If the graining solution becomes too dry to allow even grain coating, the door can be re-wetted with wetting agent. Note, you should move quickly and aggressively to assure complete and uniform tone. Stain the side edges of the door and blend to door face just stained. Flip the door over and repeat this process for the opposite side. Allow the door to dry five to six hours and then use a two inch brush to clear coat the entire stained door. A top coat is recommended for all stained doors every two to three years based on the door appearance and is available through your supplier. Finally, use a razor knife to remove tape from glass. Use a razor blade to chip away any leftover paint. Congratulations on your newly stained door using the Sun Shield Stain Kit.